Blessed are God always now and ever to the ages of ages. For those who enter it, 
with faith, reverence, and fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Metropolitan Chief One, for Archbishop Alexander, for the Honorable Priesthood, for the Diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the government of our country, for our president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy monastic habitation, for every monastery, city, and country, and for this canyon, and for the faithful who dwell in this, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonal weather, for the weather, the first years, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by the grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember in our most holy, most pure, most blessed, most dedicated to us, and ever virgin Mary, together with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. <coughs> now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man that has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly will perish. Alleluia. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice. Take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me. 
stumbling block for them that work in equity? The center shall fall onto their own neck. I am alone in the White House by. The abortion is delayed on that side. The abortion is delayed on any supplication. I will pour before him my petition. Before him will I declare my trouble. And the Spirit will say to me, Be then thou healest my path. In this path where I have walked, they will snare for me. I look upon my right and watch, but there is none that need me. Light has failed me, and there is none that watches for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, and said, Thou art my hope, thou art my portion, the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I have been humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from them that are persecuting me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. Come, let us worship the word of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, and incarnate of the Virgin Mary. Having endured the cross, he was buried as he himself desired, and having risen from the dead, he saved me in every man. The righteous will surround me, for you will feel bound to clear with me. Christ our Savior, nailed to the cross the bond against us, he voided it and destroyed the dominion of death. We fall down before his resurrection. On the third day. Yes, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. With the archangels, let us praise the resurrection of Christ. He is our Savior, our Redeemer. He is coming with awesome glory and mighty power to judge the world which he made. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. The angel proclaimed you, the crucified and buried master. He told the women, come see the place where he lay. He is risen, as he said, for he is almighty. We worship you, only immortal one. Have mercy on us, O Christ, the giver of life. You always remark in equity, Lord, who could stand? Forgiveness with you. By your cross, you destroyed the curse of the tree. By your burial, you destroyed the dominion of death. By your rising, you enlightened the race of man. O oh, benefactor Christ our God, glory to you. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul is waiting for your word. My soul is hoped on the Lord. The gates of death open to you from fear, O Lord. When the guards of hell saw you, they were afraid. For you demolished the gates of brass and smashed the iron chains. You have led us from the darkness and shadows of death and have broken our bonds. The morning watch and sunrise, the morning watch that Israel hope on the Lord. The memory of the ancestors is revealed to the ends of the world. Truly filling it with life and making known the dawning of grace. For Christ shone forth from afar, brighter than the sun, the leading rank of stars shining with him. And the divine human birth was revealed to take place in Bethlehem. Therefore with faith let us all gather at this birth, rejoicing in chorus and singing the brief magical praise. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty's redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The memory of the ancestors is revealed to the ends of the earth world, truly filling it with life, and making known the dawning of grace. For Christ shone forth from afar, brighter than the sun, the leading rank of stars shining with him, and the divine human birth was revealed to take place in Bethlehem. Therefore, with faith, let us all gather at this birth, rejoicing in courts and singing the three festival praise. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all people. Adorned with the glory of divine communion, Adam rejoices today as he is the foundation and support of the wise ancestors. With him able to be with joy at Enoch makes glad. Seth dances and Noah with him. And all praiseworthy patriarch Abraham sings. Melchizedek beholds from afar the birth that is without a father. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the divine memory of the forefathers of Christ, we pray for the salvation of our souls. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. The three youth, wise in God, who shone with joy in the furnace, proclaim the birth of Christ on earth. For just as the Lord sent down a precious dew, he preserved from the flame her who gave birth, keeping her undefiled and enriching her with divine gifts. Therefore Daniel, pleasing to God, rejoiced and was glad, for having foreseen the stone from the unquarried mountain, he now prays with boldness in behalf of our souls. And all the man of desires beheld you, O Lord, the stone cut without human hands from the mountain. Thus he foretold that you would take flesh without seed. O word of God, born of the Virgin, the changeless God and Savior of our souls. The shadow of the law passed when grace came. As the bush burned, it was not consumed. So the virgin gave birth, yet remained a virgin. The righteous sun has risen instead of a pillar of flame. Instead of Moses Christ, the salvation of our souls. Wisdom Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob. 
to give it to them and to receive after them. And I spoke to you at that time, saying, I alone shall not be able to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and behold, you are today as the stars of heaven in multitude. May the Lord the God of our fathers multiply you a thousand times more than you are, and bless you as he has spoken to you. And I took from you wise and understanding and prudent men, and I set them to rule over you, captains of thousands and hundreds and fifties and tens and quarters for your judges. And I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear cases between your brethren, and judge rightly between the man and his brother and the stranger who is with him. He shall not have respect to persons in judging. He shall hear the small as well as the great. He shall not shrink before any man's person, for the judgment is God's. Wisdom, the reading is from Deuteronomy. Let us be attentive. <clears throat> Moses said to the sons of Israel, Behold the heaven, and the highest heaven belong to the Lord your God, the earth and all that is in it. The Lord preferred your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, you above all nations, as it is at this day. So circumcise the hardness of your heart, and stiffen your neck no longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and the Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality, who takes no bribe. He executes judgment for the stranger, the orphan and the widow, and loves the stranger, giving him food and clothing. You shall fear the Lord your God and serve him, and to him you shall hold fast and take oaths in his name. He is your boast, he is your God, who has done for you the great and wonderful things which your eyes have seen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to the great mercy. We pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Again, we pray mercy. for a metropolitan Lord, Lord, have mercy. For our Christian fellow gentlemen and for all our brother clergymen in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Again, we pray have for mercy. the government of our country. Lord, Lord have mercy. For our country, and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed and remember holy Orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and remember found in this holy monastery, for all our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, the Orthodox Christians who part of this life before us, who hear it in all the world. Let us leave in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray for those who have lost their lives, Lord, because of the Lord of your grace. Nor sorrow, but life everlasting. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have every saint for mercy, Lord, my peace, and our salvation, and our mercy, pardon, and remission of sins for the servants of God who come to this holy monastery to worship, for those who work in its service, for those who support it, for all those for whom we have promised to pray, all those for whom we are obligated to pray. And for the brotherhood of this holy monastery. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, Lord, life, peace, and salvation for those who are suffering, the wounded, the grieving, or the displaced because of the war in Ukraine. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for a cessation of the hostilities against Lord, Ukraine, Lord, and that perhaps the reason of peace will flourish there. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we ask your great mercy on our brothers and sisters who are presently involved in conflict. Remove from their midst all hostility, confusion, and hatred. Lead everyone along the path of reconciliation and peace. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and wonderful temple. For those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who awake in the great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, the lover of humankind, and indeed we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Savior, Lord, you keep. 
peste sivi mânase. Blessed art thou, o Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, peace be thy statutes. Blessed art thou, o Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of our hands. To thee belong the worship, to thee belong the praise, to thee belong the glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. That this holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us ask of the Lord. And is our Lord. Word of peace, the faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For everything that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. For a Christian in each of our lives, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and in good defense before the judge and the seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, and most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For you are a good God, the lover of humankind, and you we send in glory. To the Father, to the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of the human race, look upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the dread judge who loved humankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively incline their necks, awaiting not help from men but your mercy, and the expectation of your salvation. Whom do you protect at all times, both during the present evening and in the approaching night, from every adverse action of the devil, from vain thoughts and evil imaginations. Blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Christ our Savior, as in light of the whole universe, recall in your creation the glory of you, Almighty Lord. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. By the tree you destroyed the curse of the tree, O Savior. By your burial you mortified the majesty of death. You have enlightened our race by your resurrection. O oh, giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. When you were seen nailed to the cross, O oh Christ, you restored the beauty of your creatures. The soul of your shoulder in humanity when they pierced your side with a spear. The Hebrews not knowing your power. Ask that your tomb might be sealed, but through the mercy of your compassion, you accepted the tomb and rose on the third day. O Lord, glory to you. Holiness be this your house, O Lord, forevermore. O Christ, the giver of life, for the sake of the dead, you voluntarily endure death. Descending into hell as the mighty one to save those who awaited your coming, granting them the life of paradise instead of hell, 
Grant also to us who glorify your resurrection on the third day, cleansing of our sins and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, so honored prophets, who laid well the foundation of the law of the Lord, and were revealed as firm and as shaken pillars of faith. You became indeed the mediators of Christ your covenant, since therefore you have been taken up into heaven, intercede with him to grant peace to the world and salvation to our souls. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. A new miracle surpasses all ancient miracles. Who knows of a mother who gave birth without a man, who carried in her arms her creator? This birth is the will of God. Since you carried him as an infant in your arms, so was pure one. And since you possessed bodily bonus before him, do not cease praying for us who honor you, that he may be bountiful and save our souls. Lord, now let the blessed depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people is Blessed is he who is 
Christ our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, our only Lord, God's faith, and our God's mercy, unto ages of ages. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Amen. Through the prayers of the Holy Father, Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 